Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Anchor Solix C1000 Portable Power Station. In today's video, I'll give you my top five reasons why I think this could be the perfect combination of portability and power to keep all of your thirsty electronics fully charged when you're away from home. Let's get started with the basic specification. So the product is built by Anchor. Now Anchor's been in the business for a long time. They've built power supplies, chargers, other portable power stations, cables. They really understand how to store energy, and how to deliver that stored energy to external products. So you're dealing with a company that's been around a long time and they really understand this market. The product weighs about 26 pounds, which seems heavy, but it's got a lot of energy inside of it. So 26 pounds is still portable enough to take with you on a camping trip or put in the back of the car for a long road trip, but it's got a lot of internal energy. So this product has 1,056 watt hours of battery capacity internally, which can produce up to 1,800 watts of external charging and operating capabilities, which means it's in that mid-range as far as portable power stations go. You could use it on a camping trip to charge all of your portable gear. You can also use it on the road to run a drill or to run some other appliance out in the field. So it's got plenty of energy inside the unit. Now, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the charging, because a lot of the portable power stations on the market are difficult to charge. You can charge them at home. Maybe you can't charge them in your car. You can't charge them from a solar panel. Anchor allows you to charge it pretty much anywhere you want. So the best part is you'll notice there is no external brick. There's just an AC cord. And that's because Anchor has built the charging circuit inside the unit, which means you can plug it directly into a wall outlet and you can actually charge this unit to full capacity in less than an hour. And that's absolutely amazing. Most other portable power solutions of this size can take three or four hours to charge because they're using an external brick which is wildly inefficient so by incorporating that into the design anchors eliminated that external brick and allow you to charge this up to hundred percent in less than an hour but it doesn't stop there they also include a car cord so you can charge it in your car they include a connection for solar panels so you can charge it from a solar panel they've also built in a special circuit that when you're charging it from a solar panel it'll squeeze every little bit of energy out of that power that's being generated by the solar panel again to quickly charge the internal battery so as far as charging goes they've got you covered the next thing you want to consider is the battery technology a lot of portable power stations in the market are still using the older lithium polymer batteries which are lipo cells and they work okay but they're not that great in hot weather or cold weather they restrict exactly when you can charge them the efficiency drops a little bit when it gets really hot or really cold this one uses the very latest battery chemistry technology called lithium iron phosphate which is a major advantage over lipo technology number one you can charge it when it's warmer, you can charge it when it's colder, it operates in both those temperatures just fine. But one of the biggest differences between the older LipoTech and the new lithium iron phosphate is the number of charge cycles. LiPo technology, 800 or 1,000 charge cycles. Lithium iron phosphate, well over 3,000 charge cycles. And that's important because the batteries are non-replaceable. So when you buy a unit, it's only gonna live as long as those batteries can be charged. So knowing I can charge these batteries well over 3,000 times means that I can keep this for 10 years plus and not have to worry about you know the batteries going bad on me. Another key difference with this unit is if 1,056 internal watt hours isn't enough for you, you could easily double that capacity by simply plugging in another battery module with this unit. So if you're going on a camping trip, this is probably plenty for you. But if you're running this in an RV and you want to keep a lot of lights on and a TV on and a refrigerator on, maybe you need that second battery module. But what I like about that is you could have certainly bought a bigger portable power station, but then it's too big to lug out on that camping trip. So with this one, you have the advantage of it really being composable where you can take the smaller unit on the camping trip. If you pop it back in your RV, you can plug in that second battery module and have more than enough power to run everything. All right, so the batteries are good, the charging circuit is good, and now the third thing that really separates it is what do I do with all that stored energy? How do I distribute that out to the, the products that I want to charge externally? So Anchor's thought of that as well. On the front of the unit, you'll notice there's a group of six AC charging ports on the bottom. Now, that's really a lot of AC charging ports. This was really designed for you to plug a lot of things in like you'd plug in at home on the front of the unit. Most portable power stations on the market in this capacity range typically have two, three, maybe four outlets. So having six AC outlets means you can plug in your laptop, you can plug in a drill, you can plug in a lamp, you can plug in a, vendor, a blender. You got a lot of opportunity there for AC. The other thing that's nice about the AC is that it's pure sine wave. A lot of other portable power stations are using modified sine wave. So knowing I've got a full 1800 watts available on the front of the unit through AC, that's a pure sine wave, is a major bonus. 
All right, as far as DC goes, there's a standard DC port up here, just like in your car. That'll produce 12 volts at 10 amps. So it's a lot of current coming out of it. It's 120 watts, which is about the same as most cars on the market today. So anything you plug into your car outlet, you can plug in there and you can use it on the power station. And by the way, you can plug in all these things at the same time. You don't have to wait and use the DC first, then use the AC. They all operate at the same time. And then finally, one of its most impressive features is right here. It's the USB ports in the center. You'll find two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. Now, USB charging has pretty much evolved to where the USB-A's were the older style. Those are the bigger ports. The USB-C's are the newer style. That's the smaller port. But what's interesting here is that Anchor's built in intelligent charging on both sets of those ports. So the, the uh, USB-A ports are intelligent. So if you plug something in that's compatible, it'll quickly charge that device. The USB-C ports are quick charging as well. They're a PD standard or power delivery standard, which means if you plug in a newer phone, tablet, game console, drone batteries that recognizes a PD port, that port will interrogate the device that's been plugged in. It'll figure out what kind of charge it needs, and the power station can actually adjust the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge that device. And you have two of those ports there. So you can charge two devices at the same time, both of them independently negotiating that PD voltage and current, which is pretty impressive. Most other power stations in the market, one USB-C port, so you've got to kind of take time with your friends and family plugging things into it. Another big difference is that these two USB-C ports are high-powered ports. One of them can deliver up to 100 watts of power. The other one is a 30 watt port. Now, why is that important? Well, if you're taking a bigger tablet, drone batteries, a laptop, it needs that higher current. If you try plugging a laptop into a PD port that's 30 watts, it could take you a week to charge that laptop. With this one, 100 watts is as big as a laptop charger for most laptops on the market. So what you've got here is like a utility knife that you can use the AC for a drill. You can plug in your phones to the USB-A ports. You can plug in a large tablet or drone batteries into the 100 watt USB-C port all at the same time. And you can still use the DC port with any kind of charger you use in your car. So you've got a lot of different things on the front that you can use at the same time, which again is a major advantage over other companies' products. All right, so another thing I wanna talk about is the UPS function, which is an uninterruptible power supply, which is different with the Anchor. Again, a lot of other portable power stations talk about having a UPS function. And what a UPS does essentially is you'll plug this into the wall. And by the way, when you plug this into the wall, all of these are active immediately. So if you're leaving for a trip and you've got a lot of portable gear you need to take along, plug this in, it'll start charging. You can charge all of your other gear off this while you're charging the unit, so that's a benefit. But the UPS function is really interesting as well because when you plug this into the wall, the AC is active. So if you plug your computer into the front of this, and let's say you had a really bad storm roll through your neighborhood and you lost power at the house, this immediately switches over to internal battery power so your computer doesn't suffer that horrible crash that most computers will suffer when the power goes out and the key difference between this one and other ones is that it's incredibly fast it's like 20 milliseconds which means your computer doesn't even know the power glitched which is great because the one thing you don't want to have is a computer yanked from the wall when it's operating because those disk drives can lose their mind and you're gonna have a hard time coming back from that crash so using this as a UPS is a really big benefit and that's great as well if you're on a CPAP machine or you've got medical equipment at night that has to stay on 24 by 7 plug it in here if heaven forbid the power goes out in the house the CPAP machine is going to keep running. So I think Anchor's done a wonderful job with all of the ins and outs of the technology and the battery chemistry can't be beat. The one final thing I want to mention, which I really like, and a lot of companies are starting to do this, but Anchor's got it in spades on this particular product, is they allow you to control the product, not only control it, but monitor it from an app on your phone. And if you're camping, that's great because you can lay back in your, in your tent there and you're in relaxing and you're looking at your phone going, okay, I've got 80% of the power left. Maybe we'll unplug the game console for a little bit so we save some of that power for the next couple of days. And you can control a lot of functions on that app. So I, I like it an awful lot. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. Um, I test a lot of portable power stations as well. And when I find one like this that's got a lot of these advanced functions and features built in, I love to talk about it. So I like this product. I think you're going to like it an awful lot as well. And that's all I had for today. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you found value in this review. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Thank mm -hmm. you.